We've had the opportunity uh, to try on the suits, to sit in the seats, to interact with the displays. The emergency egress systems for uh, any type of uh, emergency egress from the pad. It's been pretty fun, actually, uh, checking out all the hardware. Because NASA has not done a flight test program for a spaceship since the space shuttle. So you're talking late 70s, early 80s, the last time we, we kind of did this as an agency. So some of it is kind of relearning those techniques and those things that you need to make sure you're watching out for. We'll be uh, brushing up on all the uh, long duration space flight tasks that we've uh, trained for over the years, including spacewalking and robotics and all the space station systems. But then we're going to learn all about the new vehicle, all about our suits, how we're going to operate in that vehicle, emergency procedures. You're going to have kind of this uh, hybrid, if you will, for these first flights where you're helping develop things and at the same time you're getting training. We're going to be building what it is the crew member needs to know. Things that are really neat to me that, that are new is, is putting on a new spaceship, you know, putting your arms into it and actually getting to touch the screens, you know, just like you did as an operator when you're going into space. So those skills that we honed in test pilot school and then later on as test pilots, uh, I think they're going to be put to use in flying these vehicles. It's a new set of hardware and it's a new set of software. So for all the folks that are following along uh, throughout the world, I, th I really would like them to recognize that there's a huge team that makes this possible, that when I get the opportunity to board one of these spacecraft and fly into space, that I will have been propped up by a team of engineers that made this happen.